A lot of people ask, where should I work when I'm choosing a police department? And here's your answer. See, a lot of people think it has to do with the state that you're choosing to work in. Yeah, that's some variable there. Some states are obviously a lot more police friendly than others. But just because a state is not police friendly doesn't mean they don't have good agencies to work within it. No question about it. People often ask me, do I go for a state agency, a local municipality, a county agency? What's the best route to go? And the answer is, it really doesn't matter. What you need to look for is a good agency. It even doesn't matter what state you're looking in. My first piece of advice is to look for an agency that encourages proactivity. Not proactivity to go out and write tickets, but proactivity to go out and catch criminals. If you were looking at an agency and they say, yeah, we'd like to encourage our men and women to go out and stop crime, this is a great beginning of where you should be looking. Now, a lot of people go and take jobs at these major cities in the United States of America with the anticipation of, I can get on very quickly. Now, many people apply and get hired at these big agencies. Why? Because it's easy to get on. They have a complete division designed to recruiting you. What they don't tell you is what's really going on in the agency. And I gotta tell you, all you gotta do is ask 10 or 15 people that work there what the morale is like at the agency. Not just one, not just two. You wanna get collective overall opinion of how it feels to work here. And these major US city agencies, I'm telling you, you're gonna find out they're not great places to work, and everybody's leaving very quickly. That brings me to my next point. How often are agencies losing their people? Why are they losing their people? Why is nobody staying around? This is another big red flag when looking to agency. Are people sticking around for a full career, or are they getting in and getting out as fast as possible? Pay is also important, but not the only variable you should be looking for. A lot of people have left really good agencies to go make more money, and then they often return back to that agency because it wasn't worth the pay increase of two, five, seven dollars an hour to deal with the frustrations that came with the new position. Hopefully this answered a few questions for everybody who constantly asks me, where should I work, what should I do, who should I work for? I'm telling you, just look for the agency first and then figure it out.